Good morning, welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill and this is Morning Prayer for Tuesday, December the 13th. It's week three in Advent and the scripture for this service, Psalm 45, Matthew chapter 24, verse 32 to 44, and the canticle from Ephesians chapter one, verses three through 10. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Come thou long expected Jesus, born to set thy people free. From our fears and sins release us, let us find our rest in thee. Psalm 45 my heart overflows with noble words. To the king I must speak the song that I have made, my tongue as nimble as the pen of a scribe. You are the fairest of the men on earth, and graciousness is poured upon your lips, because God has blessed you forevermore. O mighty one, gird your sword upon your thigh. In splendor and state ride on in triumph for the cause of truth and goodness and right. Take aim with your bow in your dread right hand. Your arrows are sharp, peoples fall beneath you. The foes of the king shall fall down and lose heart. Your throne, O God, shall endure forever. A scepter of justice is the scepter of your kingdom. Your love is for justice and your hatred is for evil. Therefore, God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness above other kings. Your robes are fragrant with aloes and myrrh. From the ivory palace you are greeted with music. The daughters of kings are among your loved ones. On your right stands the queen, in gold from a fear. Listen, O daughter, give ear to my words. Forget your own people and your father's house so will the king desire your beauty. He is your Yahweh, pay homage to him. And the people of Tyre shall come with gifts. The richest of the people shall seek your favor. The daughter of the king is clothed with splendor and her robes embroidered with pearls set in gold. She is led to the king with her maiden companions. They are escorted amid gladness and joy and they pass within the palace of the king. Children shall be yours in place of your forebears. You will make them rulers over all the earth. May this song make your name forever remembered, and may the peoples praise you from age to age. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Come thou long expected Jesus, born to set your people free. From our fears and sins release us, let us find our rest in thee. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Chapter 24, beginning at verse 32. The Lesson of the Fig Tree From the fig tree learn its lesson. As soon as its branches become tender and puts forth its leaves, you know that summer is near. So also when you see all these things, you know that he is near at the very gates. Truly I tell you, this generation will not pass away until all these things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. But about the day and hour no one knows, neither the angels of heaven nor the Son, but only the Father. For as the days of Noah were, so will be the coming of the Son of Man. For as in those days before the flood they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day Noah entered the ark, and they knew nothing until the flood came and swept them all away. So too will be the coming of the Son of Man. And then too will be in the field, 
One will be taken and one will be left. Two women will be grinding meal together. One will be taken and one will be left. Keep awake, therefore, for you do not know on what day your Lord is coming. But understand this, if the owner of the house had known in what part of the night the thief was coming, he would have stayed awake <clears throat> and would not have let his house be broken into. Therefore you also must be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an unexpected hour. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. We pray for your holy church that all may be one. Grant that every member of the church may truly and humbly serve you, that your name may be glorified by all. We pray for Tom, Alan, Ray, Richard, and Don, and for all of our church leaders, that they may be faithful ministers of your word and sacraments. We pray for all who govern and hold authority in the nations of the world, that there may be justice and peace upon the earth. Give us the grace to do your will in all we undertake, that our works may find favor in your sight. Have compassion on those who suffer from any grief or trouble, that they may be delivered from their distress. For the unemployed, especially Robert and Carrie, for a cure for cancer. For the aged and the infirm, especially Ronald Francis and Marjorie. And for the incarcerated, especially Christian. Give to the departed eternal rest, and let light perpetual shine among them, upon them. We remember Margaret and Bill and John William David. We praise you for St. Francis and St. Clair and all your saints who have entered into joy. May we also come to share in your heavenly kingdom. For the mercy of God community, that it may continue to rush toward Christ, that God who has begun this ministry may bring it to fulfillment. For the intentions of those who have asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Come thou long expected Jesus, born to set thy people free. From our fears and sins release us, let us find our rest in thee. A canticle from Paul's letter to the Ephesians. Blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. God chose us in Christ before the foundation of the world to be holy and blameless and to be full of love. God predestined us for adoption through Jesus Christ according to the good pleasure of God's will to the praise of God's gracious, glorious grace, freely bestowed upon us in the Beloved. In Christ we have redemption through Christ's blood, the forgiveness of our sins, according to the riches of God's grace lavished upon us. And with all wisdom and insight, God has made known to us the mystery of the plan set forth in Christ for the fullness of time to gather up all things in Christ, all things in heaven, and things on earth. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Come thou long expected Jesus, born to set thy people free. From our fears and sins release us, 
let us find our rest in thee. We trust in the mercy of God forever. Add glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen.